What's up guys, Nick here, and I'm messing around with Unity and using 2D tile maps, uh, isometric ones, and uh, it's been pretty fun so far. So, um, let's see, I got a bunch of layers here going on on my world, uh, and that's kind of been one of the simple solutions I've come across for uh, dealing with uh, things like collision, changing uh, what height, uh, like what level we're we're standing on, so like the uh, our character uh, gets drawn properly, uh, collision. I think I mentioned that, uh, and some other stuff. So I'm gonna actually gonna pop into this, and uh, but before I do, you can see my character looks pretty weird, and what actually happens is I'm use, gonna use these uh, generic uh, uh, sprites for animation, and then I'm going to repaint them during runtime with different textures for different characters. So that's gonna really streamline the uh, the process for creating animations and, and different characters without having to create, you know, so many different uh, uh, iterations of all of the animations uh, for the different directions and everything. I can just set up the basic outline and then just repaint it uh, in game, which I have happening right now. As you can see, we got all the, Eight different directions. I don't have any animations going yet just because I've only done kind of the one idle animation just to get everything going but uh, I'm pretty excited about this because it'll allow me to do probably quite a lot of interesting things since I can update the texture for the character during runtime so like I can change the uh, the clothes uh, the hair and everything like that. I'm going to probably do the hair on a separate layer. I um, haven't done that yet. But I got the idea from, uh, I think is uh, Astortion, the blog number 26 or something like that. Uh, he goes over using uh, pixels, pic colors for coordinates. Uh, and I thought that was a really neat idea. So I went ahead and I implemented that. And uh, now you can see uh, we have some uh, blue stuff here, some red stuff. So the red is collision. Uh, the blue here gives us a temporary offset when we're in this area so that we don't clip through the building. Because uh, without it, uh, I would just not look right. Ah, it's hard to get through here. It's tight. But yeah, like uh, you just, if I didn't have this here, I'd be like, I'd, my character would still be showing up through the wall there. So that was just a simple solution I came up with for that. And uh, another cool thing is we're already getting uh, tile data. So like movement speed is determined by whatever tile we're standing on. So you can see, go over here, got a little slower. Then over here, these ones allow us to go up and down levels. So um, we go up and down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's a, using the new floor collision. So not the old floor collision that we were on before, but uh, this new one for uh, this different floor. And we go down here, we're using uh, the uh, different layer for collision now because we're on a, a different ground. So that's been kind of where I'm at so far. Just some simple things. Just getting the basics uh, laid out for foundations just so I can build on and start creating a cool game world and add characters and things like that easily without um, blowing my brains out in a pixel editor trying to just draw every single frame and all that because that's always kind of been the bane of trying to create these kind of games for me is all the asset creation. So pretty excited about this. Um, it's really streamlined the, the whole process. You can see we go down here and show you some of the stuff. This is just a mess because I'm just uh, setting this up for now. But yeah, all of these all of these textures here are created at sprites, textures and everything. They're all created at runtime uh, from a sprite sheet. And uh, it automates the uh, animation for me pretty, pretty nicely. So I don't even have to like uh, create animations and stuff like that in the animator. Completely ditching the animator. I just set up a simple sprite sequencer. You see down here, sprite sequencer script. So this uh, our character here has uh, all the, the textures that it needs. It creates them at runtime from the sprite sheets that we have loaded up uh, here. All right, these are the uh, idle, uh, idle textures and we can see them right each frame so load in one one big texture and then it gets chopped up and turned into sprites and uh, used by the uh well it gets chopped up into textures and then when it gets popped into into here it turns it into sprites and then uh, uses it for rendering but maybe i'll save the sprites in the character thing so it doesn't have to create so many 
at runtime every time I switch uh, the animation. But that's, you know, that's down the road. I can do that. But for now, it works, so I can move on and do more cool things. But uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, where I'm at so far. I thought I would just do this little video. So if you're starting a project of your own like this and you're trying to maybe get a direction on how to solve some of the basic uh, problems you'll encounter with the tile maps, uh, yeah, this is uh, what I've been doing to uh, get going and uh, I'll hopefully do another uh, blog on this soon because I'm going to definitely be working on this. I'm going to set up the uh, the walk animation so I can get a basic uh, thing going and then maybe start adding some more characters and some actual cool uh, gameplay loop functionality uh, to make something happen in this game world. So until next time, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.